Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hope you're having a blessed one. Man, if this is your first time to the channel, my name's Todd Jekyll. I'm 50 years old. I started a journey nine months ago to lose 100 pounds. I'm 85 pounds down so far. I'm sharing this journey in hopes that it encourages and inspires others to come along with us to live a healthier lifestyle. If you found value in these videos, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share with others. And to learn more about the carnivore diet, check out the link below, toddjekyll.com. We had some time to kill, so had a little break from the rain. We came down here to the front pond. It's about 1,200 steps, so it's a good way for me to get my steps in. We're down here doing a little fishing. I got my partners in crime with me, Sadie and Duke. And I want to talk about intermittent fasting. I've brought it up several times, but I haven't gone in depth. You know, what is it? How did I hear about it? How did I end up start doing it? And what are my benefits so far? When I first heard about it, this is when I was transitioning. I was doing the detox program and then transitioning to the ketogenic lifestyle. And I think the first person I actually heard it from was Ashley Salvatore. Uh, I was following her to learn about the ketogenic lifestyle. And she brought up fasting and the benefits. And I, I had no desire. I'm not going to lie. It's like, no, the thought of not eating, mm -mm, not for me, not going to do it. At this time, guys, remember I was 100 pounds overweight. I had a really bad sugar addiction. If I didn't eat by 8, 9 a.m. in the morning, I, I was doing this. I was like shaking. That was the sugar addiction. And so I had no desire to try it. When I transitioned from keto to carnivore, i had been following Ashley Salvatore, Eric Berg, Ken Berry, and Ken Berry is who I learned about the carnivore diet from. The very first video that I saw of his where he brought up carnivore, all meat diet, he talked about intermittent fasting. Before, you know, when you hear something and you're not really paying attention, it's like, oh, okay, uh-huh, uh-huh, no, got no desire to do it, and it just kind of does that. That's how I was about intermittent fasting. I heard a lot of talk about it, and, and, and it's gotten popular. Dogs are playing. Let me see if I can get them on here real quick. There's my partners in crime right there. Guys, y'all got to behave. All right, they're having a good time outside. <laughs> it wasn't until I heard Dr. Ken Berry bring it up with the all meat diet that it kind of registered on my radar i still wasn't interested but he brought up the benefits uh mainly being fat loss that when you're doing intermittent fasting it gives your body uh, more time to heal and more time to, to burn fat so it kind of clicked a little bit when i transitioned to all meat diet i was eating breakfast around 7 or 8 a.m having lunch around noon to one and then eating dinner around six, seven, somewhere around that time. But without even trying, I was already doing 12 hour intermittent fasting without even realizing it, and most of us do. And that's where the benefits start. When I switched to all meat, what I found was that I wasn't that hungry. So by eating eggs at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., I almost had to force myself to eat at noon because I knew it was just time to eat. And then I had to force myself again to eat around five or six uh, because I knew I needed to eat. And I didn't want to eat too late. And it didn't dawn on me until about a week or so after doing the carnivore that, hey, maybe I could wait till a little bit later to eat breakfast. And that's why I did. Instead of eating seven or eight, I'd go nine or 10, depending on my work schedule. And as I started following other YouTubers doing the carnivore diet, most of them were doing intermittent fasting or at least brought it up. And I kept hearing about how it's a great way to burn fat and it's a great way to boost your immune system. And it's a great way to, they kept bringing up autophagy. One of the biggest words I've said, guys. <laughs> a little bit of knowledge about autophagy is it's the body's ability to take old cells and rebuild them into new tissue. And so as you're losing this weight, especially if you have a lot of weight loss to go, it helps with not having as much loose skin. So it, it tightens up your I'm trying to make a muscle, I ain't got no muscle. So it tightens up your skin as you're losing weight. And so I was like, hmm, I'm already almost there. I'm already not feeling like eating, I'm full. Well let's try it. I ended up still trying to fit in three meals a day, but I'd I'd wait a little bit later for breakfast. Um, I tried doing dinner a little bit earlier. That didn't work out too well. And eventually I just wiped out breakfast altogether. Full side note one of Ken Berry's videos, he said that's where breakfast come from. Break fast, breakfast, pretty cool. So that's when I switched to noon, have a pound of ground beef, six, have a 16 ounce steak or some equivalent. Since doing that, the energy really ramped up. I always say, look, 
I'm doing three things. I'm doing my fasting, I'm doing carnivore, I'm doing supplements. And I can't tell you if one's helping more than the other. What I can tell you is that this combination is really helping for me. It's given me more clarity. It's like brain fuel, better energy. A year ago, I didn't walk down here to this pond. Um, shoot, I'd be huffing and puffing. It'd be hard for me to get back. I sure couldn't carry anything. <laughs> but now it's nice to bring uh, the dogs down here and uh, we just have a good little time try to catch some bass and try to catch some crappie and um it's working but guys that's how i learned about fasting that's how i ended up doing it and um yeah i'm feeling the benefits from it so i hope that helps you hope it brings value helps you make a decision whether or not you want to try it or not My recommendations don't just jump into it if you're eating around 9 p.m and then eating again around 7 a.m try to widen those windows up just a little bit Try to maybe eat a little bit earlier in the evening and maybe a little bit later in the morning. Spread those out and then just slowly, hour at a time, day by day, just slowly get there. Don't try to do this overnight if it's something you want to try. Hope this video brought value to you. If it did, man, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already. If you know someone who's where I'm at or they're on their own journey that could benefit from these videos, man, please consider sharing it. To learn more about the carnivore diet, Go to ToddJakel.com. We'll put a link below. Also included in that Carnivore Survival Guide is tips on how to curb your hunger pains if you do decide to fast. Guys, and to hear my five months results on being on carnivore and fasting, check out this next video. So I hope this helps, guys. All right, I got to get back to it, see if I can't catch some bass. Till next time, God bless. Keep grilling. <music>